Well, three men in custody after several car break ins. 16 WAPT's Allie Ware has the details. I heard a loud noise. So I ran to my window to see what was going on. When I looked out the window, I saw two guys ran from this area to that area. Melissa Palmer called 911 as she watched three men break into at least seven vehicles. You got people out here working for a living and they just come out and just break in people's cars. I mean, I think it's just petty. The thieves smashed car windows and ran away with a TV and a designer duffel bag. They didn't get far, though. And he told him he was like, stop, and like, who's not going to stop when the cops say stop? And they just kept going, and he chased them down. He got them. Hey, how old you said you were? Were y'all breaking in the cars? What were y'all doing? Residents here say they are thankful the three were caught so quickly, but they still have concerns. And it's not the first time that it's happened here, you said? No, it's not. One of the other gentlemen here were telling me that his vehicle has been broken into for the second time. After this incident, those that live at Ridgewood are hoping now there will be a gate put up at the entrance of the complex. In Jackson, Allie Ware, 16 WAPT News. Well, police arrested these three men in connection with the break ins Christopher Spells, Justin Taylor, and Zacchaeus Thicklin. Police say they're also trying to identify one more suspect. If you can help them, call Crime Stoppers at 601. 355 tips.